something's fishy. What's up? No matter what happens next, I will never forget you. Aww. Let's finish this. Ooh. Bye. Who is this? A remembrance of the enemies? You looking at me? Oh, it starts. Probably gonna be like multi stage boss fight. What the? You're in trouble now, kid. The rift is open. I thought he was strangling him, though. Shit, my camera. Don't you dare touch her.
Can I jump there? I thought there was a scroll. <laughs> Jesus. Did I really miss three scrolls though? I thought like on the way I would still have Look, I wanted it to be you. I did. You never give up, kid. I'll give you that. But whatever goes into that rift up there is gone forever. Kaput! Bye bye. Bye. It's two versus one. I mean, technically, it's two versus two. <laughs> Where did he go? Not the pace you hit. Uncle's killer was dead. And in that moment, Quill couldn't lift her sword or raise her fist or cry a tear or scream into the sky for all that she'd been through. No. She'd given 
everything. But it wasn't over. All at once, forged soldiers began pouring into the tower, their eyes fixated on their master's killer. Only Quill had nothing left, and even her reader couldn't give her the strength to fight. Outside the castle was a scene not unlike the Cinder Knight. But Sahima was no child this time, and her years fighting to survive had afforded Quill enough time to defeat Tylan. Still, she was surrounded. And Barnard, conjured from the ancients of primordial fury that turned arcane steel into molten waste. Even so, soldiers poured in from every realm, and his aching arms started to waver. But something in the distance caught their eyes. As Quill braced for the end, her mind drifted to her home in the clearing, and how she longed to be there now. But then, a shift in the wind, the silencing of steel. Quill looked up and saw her savior. It was Rootsier Veda, and with an elegance more befitting of poetry than warfare, she decimated her opponents. Now she used the situation and took all the glory. And while Veda and the Sprites vanquished the last of the Arcane, Quill mustered the strength to stand. Then, with nothing more than the clasp of her small hands, this young mouse from the clearing held all five glass. She felt it. Power born from creation itself. The world around her faded to the background as Quill gazed at her reader. Towering against the swirling chaos of the open sky, they looked ethereal. Godlike. And she had to let go. <laughs> no! And as the glass disappeared into the void of all that would never be, Quill felt the peace of a world free from its power, and the pain of losing her closest friend. Rootseer, you saved us! Quill spoke wearily. All I did was save you, replied Veda warmly. You saved Moss. And as Veda guided her away, Quill heard the faint turning of pages. Goodbye, my friend, she whispered. And with that, you, dear reader, vanished from her world. <laughs> I'm very crying. Oh my god, I guess. Why is it? This game is so like, I don't know. Is it just because it's the end of the journey or I'm not gonna see again? Like, <laughs> well, technically, I still have another book. Oh my god. <laughs> I get you. What the hell? I mean, game of the year. 
are we surprised? It's so much better for the first game, everything was upgraded, art style, mechanics, combat, storyline was also a bit deeper, like the first title felt like it's for everyone and this is kinda like a matured version of it just wrapping up the story. Okay, and we're back here. To restart most likely. We remember you. Yeah, okay. Moss is so special that you develop a connection with it and you'll never feel the same in any other VR game. And it's not because it's cutesy or charming. The attention to detail here, like interacting with Quill, little interactions with the environment, things like that make up for an amazing experience that you will never forget essentially. So far it's above and beyond over anything that released this year. I'm gonna say that sometimes it has performance issues, specifically with audio and some artifacts in the distance in the graphics. It doesn't take away from its magic though, so easily one of the best projects I've played ever.